Kids, it's just Larry, old Larry. Hope you're doing great today. Uh, just a quick video. I, I'm not gonna get too, too uh, long and boring in this one. I just wanted, you know, I, I told you guys a while back um, about this pedal that I'm super excited about, and uh, I think the, the sort of the big secret was already leaked out. So that's kind of a you know, I'm not trying to be all mysterious because I'm not that kind of guy. But here it is. Uh, this thing right here. Right there. Okay. The Empress Para EQ that just came out. Okay. This is a brand new model. Um, they sent me this prototype like a you know, month ago or something to try out. But as soon as I plugged it in, I was like, okay, now we've got something. I'm not sure how how useful this is going to be for like the guy who like who may be watching the show who like you know plays in bars and you know clubs and gigs and things like that. You know, this is this is like a recording device in my mind. You know, um, you know, I mean, I, I suppose I suppose it could it could act as a good solo boost. You know, for just a regular old you know live gig. But what this is is like a tone sculptor. Um, and when, like, here's the thing. You got the three bands of bass, treble, and mids, and each one of them has has sweepable uh, EQ points and a boost for each, you know, channel there. I, mean, I think of it like three channels. It also has a boost control, which you can set on this pedal. You can get a ton of boost out of it if you want to, but I'm just mainly interested in the uh, EQ part right here. And like, the you know. What it, I, I have a hard time like getting a camera angle to show you like what I'm doing, but I'm just gonna turn it on. As soon as you turn the thing on, even when you just set it flat, you already got something. It already sounds better. Like here's the guitar. Here's like neck pickup, right? With nothing. I'm just gonna turn the EQ on. Okay. Add a little bit of mid range. struggle with in studio is like you're trying to do a baritone part or a clean low part like the shit I was just playing and like you want to get that sculpted frequency in there so that the thing really stands up in the track without you know having to crank it you know but you can get all those cool like real sort of clean uh nasally sort of like Kings of Leon type tones with this with this pedal, you know, if you're doing things like, you know, like if you want to get that, you know like I can I can dial that tone and watch this. exciting with this you know what and this is that's just one of a million things this thing can do like you can get like super amazing high lonesome sounds like the Chris Isaacs thing you know I've been using the shit out of this thing and I just got it so um like I've been able to get some pretty amazing clean sounds going in the in the studio with this thing and uh and then I'll show the engineer I'll go man check it out if I shut this pedal off and they're like whoa so, you know, again, maybe not the, 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 the tool for the, you know, the, the guy that's not like a studio guy, but if you're a studio guy out there and you really want to, um, you know, get your, 
get to your clean tones. And it also is great with distortion, but I'm more interested in what it does with clean sounds, you know? You can get like amazing, you know, sort of brushy, jangly, chordal things with this, uh, you know, make them real sparkly. And it, it's totally quiet. I mean, it, it makes zero noise whatsoever. It just It just sounds very expensive. That's what I'm saying to you, all right? I don't know how expensive it actually is, but boy, it sure sounds expensive. Um, really, you know, high quality sh stuff that these guys are making here. And, um, and I just love it. I mean, I really do. Um, I think it's amazing. Um, I, you know, I've tried some of the some of the other high dollar EQ pedals and things like this, and they're good. Like I, I, I like the old API transformer ones. Those are I got a couple of those. They're good, but but this is it right here. I'm just telling you. Uh, check it out and uh, see what you think of it. Let old Larry know how you like it. Okay. All right. Take care, kids. Bye bye.